My name's Sherman, Sam Sherman. I'm a private eye. The rest of me is national health. I've been hired to find some missing diamonds, which led me to the local Chinese restaurant for the third time that week. It was once again I realized I was in the wrong place. I walked past the card table. They were playing a really weird game. They were playing poker with a tarot deck. One guy got a full house and three people died. I sashayed over to the bar. The barman offered to fix me a screwdriver. I said, bring me a screwdriver, I'll fix it myself. I asked for a dry martini. He gave me an empty glass. Huh, it was the driest martini I'd ever seen. Just then, a broad appeared at my elbow. She asked me if I wanted a spring roll. I said, yes. She told me to come back in May. She said, cigarette? I said, yes, I know. But no thanks, I'll smoke my own. Tried to impress her with some sleight of hand. She was impressed, but only slightly. She asked me if I was on a case. I said, no, I really am this tall. <laughs> Try to impress her again. This time, it really got her. The cigarette disappeared. She offered me another one, but I said, no, thanks. I've got one in. <laughs> Just then, I noticed the rose in her hair. Then I realized something was blossoming between us. I said, would you like to see my trick? <laughs> all of a sudden, the band struck up. They played three bars that were thrown out of all of them. Just as well, it was cabaret time. A stunning looking dame appeared on the stage. 36, 24, 36. Only the fried rice was missing. <laughs> I'd seen a guy turn into a bar, an automobile into a lay-by, doves into a cat or something. Yeah. She was good. She was cool. She immediately moved on to her next trick. Her two assistants came on, they were loping. Strange, they both had the same name. <laughs> they wheeled on sort of a see-through cabinet. Looked like something out of Dynasty. Maybe it was a crystal carrier on. <laughs> it was then, she called for the assistance of somebody from the audience. I arrived. my hand and walked me forward. <laughs> it was now time for a magic performance, but I thought the show must come first. <laughs> she started to chain me up. I thought this was one trick I was just bound to do. I noticed a rather embarrassing mole on her neck. I kept jumping up and swinging on her earring. She also had a glass eye. She didn't tell me, it just dropped out in conversation. I noticed the diamonds around her neck. These were the diamonds I'd been looking for. With incredible speed, she drew material around me. I thought this is curtains for me. <laughs> Luckily, I had a trick or two up my own sleeve. <laughs> you see, they were there all the time right under my nose. I'll say no more, this case is closed.